We've been talking about the warnings that this summer will be the hottest on record. And as that heat melts our glacier, uh, glacier ice, it's leading to some grim discoveries. Christine Birak joins us now from London. Christine, what can you tell us? You know, Deanna, this story kind of stopped me for a moment. Right now, you are just showing those images, sweltering hot cities, blazing wildfires, all the destruction they're leaving behind. But when you move into colder environments, we're really seeing that climate change is also at work, melting glaciers around the world and revealing long-lost stories from the past, including the body of a climber who disappeared decades ago. Swiss police say hikers in Switzerland trekking near the country's iconic Matterhorn Mountain came across the remains of a mountain climber who'd gone missing while he too was hiking in the Swiss Alps nearly 40 years ago. Now, police have not revealed the man's identity or the circumstances surrounding his death. So was he lost? Did he get injured? They wouldn't say. But in a statement, police did say the man was originally from Germany. He was 38 years old at the time when he was reported missing after he didn't return back from a hike. Officers said the discovery was actually made earlier this month and that DNA analysis enabled the identification of the mountain climber. So after 37 years, Deanna, his family was likely notified that he'd been found. As you saw, police published pictures of a lone hiking boot with the red laces sticking out of the snow. It's worth mentioning this isn't the first time shrinking glaciers due to climate change have led to the discovery of bodies and other personal belongings from past adventurers, and it likely won't be the last. The UN's meteorological chief has said the world is losing glaciers to climate change much faster than expected. Of course, with all that melting, sea levels are rising, and the effects of climate change, as we just continuously see, uh, Deanna, are just so vast. Absolutely. So many new effects and things we haven't even uh, thought of. Thank you so much for that context, Christine. That's Christine Birak in London.